data over this uh, connection whatever we have sent right connection means just nothing it is a virtual connection over which the client is sending some information and server is saying that i am expecting the data from sequence number one from you right because previously you send the sin with sequence number zero and i acknowledge it with my acknowledgement number one if i say acknowledgement number one i am expecting a sequence number one from you in future right and that is why if you see this guy is sending now this guy is sending the data which is shown by this red line here and over this red line i am i am presenting a tcp packet to you right a tcp header to you and we are going to showcase only those header fields which are really important in this current discussion although tcp header is it, it contains a lot of values right but we are going to discuss only we are going to specify only those values here uh, which are relevant to this uh, uh, talk right so sequence number one because client server was expecting a sequence number one from our tcp three-way handshake and now i am straight away saying that length is going to be 1000 what is the meaning of it the meaning of it that there is a data along with uh, along with this header information and in this data basically application has just sent me 1000 bytes of data so i have created a segment out of it and this data as i explained right i have divided that into the bytes i have divided them into the segment and inside the segment i am marking every byte from sequence number one so first byte is marked with sequence number one second byte is marked with sequence number two similarly at the end of this when we are at the 1000th byte right this byte is marked with 100 and 1000 but what is the sequence number of this frame sorry what is the sequence number of this segment the sequence number of this segment is the sequence number associated with the very first byte which is your sequence number one right that is why the header is having sequence number one the length is 1000 meaning that the last byte of this segment is marked with sequence number 1000 right the segment reaches to the server here server is pretty happy with that that after the tcp three-way handshake right he got something he got the data out of the client right and now it is his responsibility to acknowledge it right so what exactly is seeing is seeing uh, it is it is opening this segment it is seeing the packet byte one is there byte two is there byte 1000 is there so he it is pretty sure that i am able to receive till 1000th byte now i am expecting one uh, 1000 first byte right so how it is going to inform this message to the client it is sending the acknowledgement and it, it is sending the acknowledgement with the number 1001 what is the meaning of it the meaning of it is, it is that server has received data till 1000th byte and now it is expecting 1000 first byte from the client right when client sees this he is pretty happy that I was able to send the data to the server and I'm pretty sure about it because server is now acknowledging it, right? Server is saying through this acknowledgement message that it has received till 1000th byte of information, uh, which it is saying with this act and now it is my responsibility to send, means if I have some more data, client is going to send it right but with what sequence number client is going to send it server is expecting the next sequence number is going to be 1001 because it has received till 1000 right and that is why this guy now the client is sending other another packet with sequence number 1001 I'm pretty sure that you know now the data is here which is only the length of this data is only 300 why because i have calculated it during the segment uh, segment creation the length is 300 and now again if i say this data 
again every byte of this data which i am getting from the application is going to be marked and from where it is going to be marked it is going to be marked from 1001 so first byte of this new segment is going to be 1001 the second byte is going to be 1002 similarly the last byte it is going to be uh, 1300 because here we have 300 bytes of information and every compartment here is showcasing your one byte right very very simple guys if you are not getting it do not worry about it if you are getting this recording just try to rewind it just have a cup of coffee it is very very simple and believe me in most of the troubleshooting if we get to get this number sequence number length acknowledgement most of our troubleshooting is going to be resolved because now we can be sure that my tcp stream is continuous and if i can build if i have these concepts with me then i can understand the new concepts like selective acknowledgement like window scaling everything right but at least you should know how normal data transfer happens i am not i have not included any error in this right everything is going perfect so just try to understand how things happen normally because if you understand how things happen normally then if there is an anomaly there if it is if there is a change there you can directly detect that change okay so till now we are pretty good with respect to that we have sent 300 uh, more bytes towards the server right and now server is again happy that it got another segment from the client let's try to analyze it it is opening that segment it is saying okay this segment is started from 1001 and the length is 300 so it means that the data in this uh, in this segment is 300 bytes long it means that the last byte the last sequence number with which this data is marked is the 1300 right so it says okay perfect I got 300 bytes of information. The initial sequence number in this case is 1001. I am going to add it 1001 plus 1001 plus 300. It is going to be 1301. I am expecting the next bit, next byte of information, next sequence number from this client. It is, it should be 1301. And where this number is coming from, this number is coming from here. You just need to add the first sequence number which is 1001 you just need to add the length which is 300 and you are getting the next sequence number which you are going to expect from the client which is 1301 and that is why you are you as a server you are acknowledging this thing uh, with 1301 when client receive this message it is going to say okay 1301 server is acknowledging with 1301 it means that it got received my sequence 1001 with length 300 he become very happy right and believe me if you understand this we are going to see everything in wireshark with some different numbers but you if you understand these numbers then this is just the entire case means you are adding this first sequence number with the length and then whatever the number is coming it is going to be your next sequence number which you are going to expect now this number is 1301 that is why that is why basically you are expecting anything which is coming out of the client from 1301 right although i haven't shown the acknowledgement number here there is acknowledgement number field also here which is not making much sense for now but believe me if you want to go and see that is going to make sense to you and we are going to see that in wireshark right now Till now, we have just talked about from client to server communication. Client is sending something, server is acknowledging. Client is sending something, server is acknowledging it. But now, as you know, most of the data is coming out of from the server, not from client to server. Client is just asking, do you have this page? Server is sending, yes, I, have, I am having this page, take it. So most of the data is from the server side always, right? But to make this process look somewhat intuitive to you how data transfer happens so i started with some of the packets from the client to server side and there are some packets from the client to server side but most of the packets 
are from server to client side right it is as simple as that so now because there is a three-way handshake both party can communicate we have showcased you the communication in one direction now let's see what happens when server sends some information to the client now here you can see the sequence number from the server side is one because this is the first packet or the segment which is server is sending after this three-way handshake understand that this is you are at this packet from the server side right if i if i again give you an example what exactly happened from the client and server at the beginning client is saying you are there are you there and you say i am sending this sin packet to you and my sequence number is zero server is saying acknowledging and acknowledgement with one but here also the server is sending a packet with sin which is saying this is the sin packet and the sequence number of the sin packet is zero and that is why you are acknowledging it with one now you you are saying that mr server whenever you send some information to me make sure make sure you send it with acknowledgement one number one because i am acknowledging that your sin packet is received now you send me the first packet and that that first packet started at this place right so you can argue with me that what is the sequence number of this acknowledgement right because tcp uh, uh, in tcp the header is going to be filled you need to specify all these things so because after three way handshake client is expecting the acknowledgement number sorry the client is expe expecting sequence number 1 because it is acknowledging one right so the sequence number of this acknowledgement packet which server is sending was sequence 1 right similarly here also the sequence is one because you are not sending any data this is just acknowledgement and it should be one because client is expecting acknowledgement because client has just said to the server that you have been acknowledged but send me data with sequence number one other I, otherwise i am not going to process it and the sequence number uh, is one because there is no data here is the first time when this server is sending some data to the client and that is why i have written sequence number is still one but now 